is trying to do. You're trying to stimulate the economy, you're trying to bring more money in from other states. Uh, when you look at what, um, especially when you look at what um, our new governor's doing up there and trying to eliminate these business taxes and, and get all this stuff down so that we really become business friendly. And like we did last week, we read through the, um, the latest journal of all these uh, tech companies that all of a sudden, you know, they're coming into Florida. Also, yeah. Florida's looking pretty attractive. Um, you know, we, we elected a new governor. All of a sudden, you know, everyone's going, yeah, we like Florida now. <laughs> so Florida's coming very, very business savvy that way. I, you, uh, places like Ohio, Ohio's looking at that, and they're trying to do the same thing. Uh, they've got more um, um, obstacles to Yeah, overcome. they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's just putting it kindly. So, that, you know, they, they've got a longer walk down that road than what we have. Uh, but, you know, if, if they, they stick to their guns, they'll be able to achieve that, and they'll come out. Every time you have change, it's going to hurt. And we're going to hurt a little bit down here, too. Not as much as what Wisconsin is, not as much as what Ohio is or New Jersey. You know, those other states, they're going to hurt more than what we do. California is one that's going to, they're going to be brutalized out there because they ran amok for so long. They had such a wild party for so many decades, and now all of a sudden the bills come due, and they're going to be washing dishes for a while out there. You know, to pay that bill, I and mean, that's you know a great analogy of it. They're gonna be working. They're gonna be working to the bone. You know, we don't. You know, we don't have it quite that bad. So we'll have a lot more of those tech jobs coming in. And I think uh, as we go forward over the next uh, year, next two years, three years, four years down the line, and we see some of these taxes and some of these these obstacles that businesses have in operating in Florida, as some of that goes away, we'll see those businesses come in, and we should see it grow. And with that high tech, I, I, you know, I don't disagree with you. I think yeah. that's right. I, I, I think that that's, uh, that's exactly right. And uh, I, I um, hope that uh, we just that um, we don't overplay our hand as a state and uh, that, we, you know, we, we can get uh, everything we can out of it. Uh, get, you know, not just have businesses set up shop here in name only and, and work everywhere else you right. know and uh, really want to maximize um the the ability to bring in companies and to to put people to work and that's and, that's uh, what we see when i see these companies come in and i see the press releases they're they're bringing jobs and they're creating yeah. jobs here and they're building facilities so you've got uh you know they're going to move into a community that means the employees are going to come into that community it's going to support that community. Your, your restaurants, your barbershops, all that kind of local stuff happens. There's going to be construction going on for new homes, construction going on for the new facility that this company is going to need. So it simulates in a number of different ways that that money trickles down. So it, it, it's a win-win every time we bring a company in. Um, and, you know, there's the other side of that. You have to be careful what you give up to bring that in. You know, Walmart has that, that nasty history of playing one community against the other of, you know, pitting uh, county commission is one against the other. And the at the end result, Walmart gets the land for free. They get the building for free. Uh, they get no tax or any kind for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. And they wind up getting a piece of the sales tax back, kicked back to them. 